Hey ladies, I am super excited. One week from today, we are starting the Cultivating Your Character online form here in this group. If you're not registered, make sure, I'll put the link in when I'm done here, but make sure you register so you get all the notification. So I wanted to jump in here today to tell you what the heck is this online form. Here's the deal. On September 26th, it's uh, Global Character Day. Global Character Day. And character is something that we often don't think about as women about, you know, who am I being rather than what am I doing? And what Character Day talks about is is our ultimately sort of who we are as a person. There are 24 character traits. And this day is just kind of highlighting those and the need to develop those in ourselves and figure out what our strengths are and lead most often with those strengths. So for example, one of my top strengths is gratitude. Another one is appreciation of beauty and excellence. A third one is hope and optimism. So when I think about how I show up in here, well, one, I'm often optimistic. I've got lots of energy. Uh, zest is one of my other top character traits. So I've, I've always got lots of energy, but I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. I'm sharing new ideas. Love of learning is another one of my character traits. Uh, let me go back to the beauty and excellence one for a moment because it's not always about, you know, your surroundings and what it's all about, but it's about creating excellence in myself and in other people. And it's about sort of noticing when people are at their best and reaching their full potential and being their best selves. And I think that's why it's so important to do this event for us because I think often as women leaders, we don't feel at our best. We don't feel ourselves. We feel out of character. We feel out of sync with who we are and who we want to be. And so I want to create this event to start you thinking about ultimately who are you being as a leader? How do you show up? What's the type of person you are? And how do you cultivate that? So over the course of the week, I'm going to do um, five or six interviews. I have one that I'm just finishing lining up, so fingers crossed that we'll get six interviews. Let me tell you about who I'm interviewing, because what's going to happen is each day I'm going to come into the group, I'm going to interview a lady, and we're going to talk about um, her experience of character development, either in herself or in her organization or how she does her work or just what it, why it might be something to talk about. But here's where the form part comes in. Then I want you to be watching these interviews. I want you to ask questions of me and the person I'm interviewing, either while you're watching the, it live or if you're following up on the replay. But I want you to engage in these conversations because this is about you becoming actively aware of who you are being as you lead. So remember, we've been talking about this for a while now in the weekly Facebook Lives that I'm doing around characters. It's not only about what you do, it's who you are. We can all do the same actions, but it's ultimately our character, our being, or how we show up that makes the difference. So first step that you need to do is I'm going to make sure that I post in, in the group and in the event and lots, the eight minute video on the science of character. It'll give you the background into what Character Day is all about, why this discussion is so important, and uh, hopefully spark some um, excitement in you to go look at your character can, and can start to consider how to cultivate it. Then I want you to go do your via virtues and actions, via signature strengths test, take it 10 minutes and figure out your top strengths. That will really help you as we engage in the conversations next week. When you start thinking through the lens of your character strengths and how you can lead with those, how you can cultivate those and grow and develop those, that's going to make an incredible difference for you. So here's who I'm interviewing. Starting on Monday next week, a week from today, I'll be interviewing Anne Rosenfield. Now, Anne uh, has this um, unique ability to say what she believes. She's got a strong, um, I guess strong personality is probably how I would say it. But she's been in the fundraising field for years and she supports fundraisers. She's been in a couple organizations where she's, you know, helped them create a fundraising campaign of multi-million dollar campaigns. But what intrigues me about and, and part of the reason why I really want to have this discussion with her is she also mentors people, women in particular at times. And so I want to start to talk to Anne about, you know, when we're in these nonprofits, when we're in our organization, when we're running our business, what is 
you know, how does character show up? And how do I start to cultivate my character? Because as a mentor, I think she probably has some ideas for us. So Monday is Anne. Tuesday is Lynn Picot. Now, Lynn is a coach, a teacher, a trainer. She's a university instructor. Uh, and again, she's done a lot of work around helping new and emerging leaders. And so I want to have the discussion with her about, you know, laying this foundation. Many of you are growing and developing leaders. So how do you lay that foundation around when we're starting to develop leaders? How do we develop them with strong character, integrity, honesty, um, grit, um, compassion? How do we lay that as a foundation early on? Then on Wednesday, I'm interviewing Pam McLattery. Pam runs an organization out of Calgary, a nonprofit for, I, I'm guessing, thinking, mostly people with disabilities. So I might be not quite 100% correct on that. But Pam has been in, in leadership position for years and years, has been in her industry for years and years. And so I'm going to talk to Pam about what's it like, you know, as an ED of an organization to both try and cultivate character in yourself and in your team because it's great to talk about this stuff in theory but let's face it when the reality is you have meeting after meeting and conversation and emails and tasks and things to do character is probably the last thing on your mind but I know Pam does this well and so it's a conversation I want to have with Pam about how do you do this how do you keep this front and center even though all of the other stuff is going on. So that's Pam. On Thursday, we have two interviews. Paula McLean is a human resource consultant. Uh, she's an author, best-selling author of a number of books for leaders and nonprofits and boards. And, you know, she's been teaching this stuff for years and years and years. She's done it. And again, she's another person who mentors leaders. And so I want to talk about how do you have that conversation with somebody when they're struggling with who they are and how they're showing up? And how do you make it um, so that it helps them cultivate their character? How do we add it into the training that we're doing? How do we start to, when we're teaching people about, you know, how to do strategic plans and how to supervise individuals, how do you add conversations about character into that training? And then Janice Cunning is a fellow leadership coach. Again, she coaches, mentors, trains, leaders. And so want to have more of that conversation about what do organizations need to be doing to help cultivate character in their leadership teams? How do we have these conversations in organizations? So as you can see, we've got a number of women who are going to bring you know a wealth of knowledge, experience, insights into this conversation i want you to tune in listen in take notes and please 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 pick their brains ask them questions you know start to think about okay but what about this or and how do you do that what have you noticed here or there week-long conversation ladies i want you to engage in this conversation i'll make sure that the Interviews are all set up ahead of time so that you know the times of them and all that kind of stuff. I'll make sure that, that you get that. If you haven't registered, go register now so that you are getting those email notifications. We'll also have conversation starters. We'll have questions. So that'll all come via email for you to make sure that you can engage in this. But right now, sign up. Watch the eight-minute movie, The Science of Character, and do your via Virtues in Action Signature Strengths Identify your top strengths. Do that this week. You'll be all set next week to really dive into the conversations, really tune in and start to really look at why do you need to grow your character? Why is it so important that we focus on character for you and the people around you? And how do you develop your character and how do you develop that for the people in that you supervise in your organizations and your team? Cultivating Your Character, September 24th to 28th. Make sure you register so you get all of the good stuff. It happens here in the Confident Women Leaders group. If you're not a part of the group, if you're watching this on a, on a replay, uh, I'll put the link in so that you can join the Confident Women Leaders group as well and join in the conversations. Cultivating Your Character, September 24th to 28th. I hope you'll be there.